I am Barry Lucala. I'm a teaching professor in the physics department, and I've been here at Carnegie Mellon since 1980. Well, it focuses mainly on understanding the science in science fiction films and television shows. So we do some readings on cutting edge science, and then look at some science fiction film examples that relate to it, and try to critique the science fiction films from a scientific point of view. And it was inspired by, actually, this book, which I'm sure you've heard of. This is the first edition. And uh, Physics of Star Trek, written by Lawrence Krauss. Uh, Susan Henry was the dean of the Mellon College of Science at the time and encouraged a lot of the faculty to create mini courses for MCS students to keep them interested in science. And I proposed a course on science and science fiction. And everybody thought it was a great idea but they suggested one of the things we had to do was to build a warp drive as part of the coursework, <laughs> which we haven't succeeded in doing yet. How does a warp drive work, you might well ask. So the idea is that the energy produced in the matter-antimatter reaction in the warp engines somehow distorts space. And the idea is that you uh, compress the space in front of the ship and expand the space behind the ship and you end up riding along on a wave of distorted space which actually doesn't quite violate the limit on speeds being no more than the speed of light because you're, you're traveling along on this wave of distorted space instead of really locally going faster than the speed of light. Since the students in the mini version of the course have always been science majors, they really like to tear apart the films from a science perspective and see what's wrong with it. But we also do some pretty serious calculations to show whether things are plausible. And every now and then something comes up that is plausible, but usually not. Usually it's in the realm of total fantasy.